Okay, guys. Good. So let's let's uh, start off with some some punches and stuff like that. So first we're gonna bow. Right. Okay. So fighting stance. You just slide in, punch, and back. Ready? Go. Hey. 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 All right, good. Switch to the other side. Ready? Hey. Robbie's in. Hey. Hey. Hey, Robbie. Hey. Hello. Hey. to do is you're gonna make your foot in your hand at the same time right so don't step first and punch make sure that it goes together all right and the foot at the same time ready and go hey 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 all right good so now from your left, uh, right gear, you're gonna switch to left gear now. You're gonna slide in, you're gonna do mind can now, you're gonna jab and back. So make sure that your heel comes up on the back foot, right? Using that to help project you forward. Okay, ready? And go, hey, punch your back. Hey, hey, hey. So Ori, uh, switch your feet, Ori. That's it, it's a, it's a jab, mind can, ready? Go, hey, hey. 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 Good. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do one, two. Like halfway, half of the Mike and Gekko's rookie combination. So step and punch. You ready? Go. Hey. One, two. And back. Hey. One, two. And back. Hey. One, two. Good. Ready? Hey. Back here. So already punch with the other hand. Punch with your left hand. Yeah. So you do the same thing. You're stepping with the same foot. All right. One, two. Ready? Hey. One, two. Good. Back again. Hey. Good. And back one more time. Hey. All right. Good. Okay. Now you're gonna add add the second punch. So it's gonna be one, two, and then three. So the same foot stays in front the whole time, right? Mike and Gekko's okay. So one, two, three. You ready? Go. Hey. One, two, and three. Okay, that's Robbie. You can hear. You can see Robbie. Good. Hi. Right, how you doing? How you feeling? I'm good. You got better of them they call? Yeah. All right. Good job. Okay. So from here, Mike and Gekko's okay. Ready? And go. Hey. One, two, and three. Good. Ready? Hey. One, two, and three. Good. Hey. One, two, and three. Okay, now I want you to add a add a kick, any kick afterwards. Ready? Go. Hey. One, two, and three, and kick. Good. Back again. Try different kicks each time. Ready? Hey. One, two, and kick. Good. Ready? Hey. One, two, and kick. Good. One more time. Ready? Hey. Good. Okay. So for part of the part of the warm up, which is stay in left gear, which you to move around like you're fighting, right? Move around and just jab, move back, move back, in, and jab, right? This is you can fake a little bit, just pretend you're like shadow fighting. Go ahead, part of your warm up. Move around, move around. That's it. Keep moving. As a jab. Every time you jab, pull the other hand back, right? Pull it back. So you're ready for another punch if you need to. Good. That's it. Good, nice. Good. All right, looking good. So now, Mike, get it. Kick him back. Ready? Go. Hey. One. Hey. 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 Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to kick with the other leg, now your front leg. So you're going to step up, kick, and come back. So it's going to step, kick, and come back, okay? Ready? Hey! Come back. Hey! 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 
left gear. Watch, I'm going to jab first. I'm going to jab and then kick. All right? So I keep my hand out. I, I jab, I keep my hand there, I kick, and down, right? And then back again. Ready? And go. Hey, one, kick. Good, back again. Hey, jab, kick. Good. And back. Ready? So, or you kick with the front leg. Ready? Hey, jab or kick. That's it. Skip it each time, right? And back. Ready? Hey, go. Oh, one, two. And one more time because uh, McKenna and Jake keep freezing up on me. I want to see you do it. Ready? Go. Hey, one, two. Nice one. All right. Good job. Okay. So uh, let's do a little bit of a, a workout with the legs. See if you can put your hand against something uh, like a piece of furniture or a rail on a staircase or the wall, whichever, and bring your leg up like this. And I want you to kick and come back again each time. Kick and back, right? So go for 10. Go ahead. So the thing is, hold, everybody stop for a second. The reason why I want you to hold on to something is because I don't want to see you guys doing this. See how this motion, I'm bent in the middle. I need to stretch this part, right, by doing like this. I want to have this part stretch. So I kick, I bring it back again. Don't go like this. My knee's in front. My knee needs to be almost behind me here. Kick and back, all right? Try that again, go ahead. Good stretch. That's it, pull it back and kick, good. Good. That's it, and stretch, good. Good. All right, good. Now, from this, the same thing, this time, you're gonna go, this way, make circles, circles. That's it, complete circles. So you're gonna go like you're doing the, the hook kick, right? Go ahead. That's it. That's it, looking good. Wow, you guys are doing nice, keep going. That's it. So, um, so Ravi, lean back a little bit like this. Lean down a bit, and then, so you're holding on to something? Use that, that's it, yeah, so you can get nice high kicks. Good, point your toes a little bit. Okay, do the other leg now. Do a roundhouse kick. This way, stretch, stretch it back each time. Do about 10 of those, and then do about 10 of these ones. The other time. <clears throat> you do this for a week, and you want the kicks come out nice and fast. That's it. Good, that's it. All right, looking good. Better pull your knee back behind you. That one, guys. Pull it back. That's it. Yeah. All right, good. So, fighting stance. So, what you're going to do is you're going to step behind like a sidekick. But you're going to do a hook kick this way. All right? So, ready? And go. Hey, step and kick. Good. Back again. Ready? Hey. So kick it with your front foot, guys, that's it. So um, kick with your left leg, right? If your left leg's in front, that's the leg you kick with, the left foot. Go, hey, step behind and kick. That's it. And again, ready? Hey, go. That's it. So, Ravi, think, think like a side kick. How would you do a side kick? So you're here, think, step behind, and then come around. So you're doing it off the front leg. Yeah, like that, good. Okay, ready, go, hey. I'm going to do the other foot, right? Do your front foot. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so step behind, right? I want you to get used to using that, that weak side. Angle, hey. Step behind. No, no, that's stepping in front, right? Sorry. So watch. If, I'm, if I'm here, I step this way behind. Oh, I see. Thank you. Behind and then kick. Yeah. Right? So everybody do about five of them by yourself. Go ahead. That's right. Yeah, good. And it's a hooking kick, right? Yes, good. You know, build up the muscles and the, and the flexibility. Strength and flexibility. Then you get fast and strong kicks. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. So now, fighting stance. Ready? Left gear. So you're going to do a mic in first, right? 
You do a mic hit and then you do a hook kick. Go ahead. That's it. Try a few. So imagine you're trying to get in with a mic hit, but they get out the way, so you get in with a hook kick instead. Good. <clears throat> So see, I step, I step in with my mic and see, I step. They go one, two. Yeah. That's it, already a good one. That's it, good. You can get a nice high one for the head, right? That's it, good. All right, good job. Mm. Okay, good. So I want to show you guys an exercise. You may not be able to do it here because you may not have the, everything set up right. But I want you to think like you're going to put your, you put your, uh, your leg, your foot up on something. Like you're going to do a side kick. Watch. So I'm going to do a side kick here like this. See that? And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and I'm going to come up as high as I can. I go down and I come up as high as I can this way. Each time, right? This way, up. And then you do the other side too. So that's an exercise that will help you to get your kicks up higher. So make sure you lean all the way down and then pull yourself up. That's it. Go all the way down and pull yourself up. And if you if you find it's too easy, you can go higher. Put your foot on something higher. Like my, my foot up on, on here. And I'm going to do the same thing. This one, see? Um, you'll see these muscles here start to get a little sore. All right. So that's something I want you to do by yourself. That's that's pretty good. You got to do good with that. Okay. So remember what we worked on with the mic end? Using the opposite side. So I want to push this one. So if you watch from the side here, I'm going to go this way first. So I go one, two, right? One, two. So let's try that. Ready from here? So your right side, you're punching with your left hand, it means the opposite side, the right hip. It's going to go forward first. Go forward and then step in and punch. Ready? Go eight, one, two. Eight, one, two. Eight, one, two. Eight, one, two. Push with the back leg. Eight, push. Good, that's it. Eight, push, slide in with the front foot. Good. So as you push, see, I push and then I'm going to step and then punch. Try not to do everything at the same time. It makes it a little bit too difficult. I'm going to push with this front foot. Push and then punch. Yeah. Push, step, punch. That's it. Good, so you're just trying to plant that seed so you can start working on it a little bit at a time, right? Good, yep. So it's like you're going one and then bang, hit him with the other one. Yeah. Good. All right, good. So what I want you to think of now, let's just make a punch. Just stand, stand with your feet like this in a yoke position and make a punch. So what I want you to think of is the stretch on my on the back here. Watch what happens right here. I'm going to start to stretch it. Okay. So watch. I don't want to do this. I want to go the opposite way. I'm going to stretch. Okay. So my hand goes one way, and my chest and my my hips go the other way, like this. So let's try that. Ready? From here, put your hand out and stretch forward with your arm and pull your your belly to the side this way. That's it. See, I actually let my foot turn a little bit. It makes it easier, right? One, good. Okay, now punch with the other side and do the same on the other side. Stretch. Yeah, so you feel something happening here, right? Each time I stretch that muscle, right? Okay, so punch and then stretch. Punch and stretch. So see how they go opposite? This hip comes towards this arm. Yeah, this way. That's the feeling each time. So that's the end of your punch. Yeah, keep going, good, that's it. Good, okay, so good fighting stance. So I want you to just slide in a punch, hold the punch. Now, look for, for that stretch. This part here is gonna go back, stretch. So back again, and then do it again. Punch, and look for that stretch. Just keep doing that, practice that by yourself. Yeah, stretch it, good. This is going to give you much more shock into your punch. Keep going. Uh, sensei? Yeah. Do we stretch like after you land the punch or like right when we land the punch? Well, just, you, for now you can just punch and then stretch afterwards. So you, what I'm trying to get you to do is learn the feeling. So eventually you'll, you'll just get it right away. 
but don't worry about doing it right away now. Just, just put the hand out and then stretch. It's just an exercise to teach you how to do it. That's it. Stretch the other way, other way. That's it. Each time. Stretch go the other way, right? Yeah. Good. That's it, Jake. That looks like a good one. Do it again. Stretch, stretch, stretch. That's it. Yeah. Good. It stops you from losing the other shoulder. When you punch, right? Good. Good. Okay, try my kid now. Same thing. Punch. And then try to squeeze the other way. Turn the other way. Okay, you're going to be square, very square. That's it. So hold the mic in, hold it there, and then stretch it. Or you do it again and stay there, hold it, hold the position. Do a jab, do the, do the jab. Hold it there, hold it there. Now, turn, keep pushing your arm forward, as far forward as you can. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Yeah, that's it. Good. So if you if you stop too soon, then you don't know if you did it or not, right? Keep going, you guys are doing good. That's it. This is gonna be the, the end of your punch. It's gonna give you all the power. Good. Okay. All right, so now left gear. Okay, slide in and punch. Now what I want you to do is just lean a little bit this way. So see how my, my third leg goes that way, right? And now from here, I'm gonna pull the shoulder down so I'm straight. Don't let the hip go, the hip still stays there. I'm just pulling this way, right? So this exercise you did here, it's the same as what you did before when you had your head foot up and you did this motion, okay? It's that same group of muscles you work with. So you're getting this feeling here, right? So ready, slide in, punch, okay, lean to push the hip. And now squeeze right here, squeeze it over. Yeah, do a few, do about five or six of those in your own time, go ahead. No, or your other, other hand, which, which hand are you, is that your left hand or your right hand? My right. Yeah, okay, do your left, do your jab, right, the mic hand. Okay, that's it, yeah, so you lean, and then squeeze the other side, but don't let your hip go back, keep the hip there. That's right. Yeah, good. That's it. Yeah, good. Yes, yes, yes. That helps you to get that stretch as well. Looking good. And shoulder down, yeah? Good. Mm -hmm. All right, good job. So we just spent a few minutes on this each time, right? So now I want you to do uh, the stone block, this block here. Okay, so bring in the hands this way, right? And then the hand goes up and down, remember? So just let me just watch you guys do it. Go ahead. That's it. All right, Jake looks good. That's it. I can hear Jake's rubbing himself really good there. I guess his body that's good. That's a mechanic. Yeah, good. Okay, good. Now watch. A lot of you guys are doing quite nicely. It's just one thing. Watch. So what am I doing wrong here? The hands are too low, right? Keep the hands up, same height as my shoulder roughly, right? So I go this way each time. And make sure your hand is not here. You don't want to block here, I want to block in front of my shoulder. Don't be in front of my, my chest, in front of my shoulder, right? So each time you finish, it's just, yeah, go ahead. Just keep doing it, that's it, you good? Okay, Yana, yeah, hold it there, now you, the way I'm, I, I don't know if it's the camera, but the way I see you, your hand is kind of in the middle of your chest. Open it, bring it out more. That's it. And turn the hand over this way. Palm, palm forward. Yeah, that's good. See, that looks nice. Over here, it means that the punch could still get me. So I want to make sure I get it out, right? Get it out each time. That's it. Keep going up here. That's it. Make sure the hand, that's it. Fingers together. Good. That's it, Robbie. Yep. Yeah, that's it. So don't go too far out. We don't want to be too far, right? We want to be in front of the shoulder. There, yeah. Good, make sure your fingers are pointing straight up. Okay. This is going to be a pinanita. Uh, you're going to want to see this. Like when the time comes for black belt testing, anybody doing that? It's a definite cut. They want to see pinan short and pinanita. Those two cuts are different. Yeah. So make sure it comes up. 
and boom, up, and boom, each time, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, so next one then, shoot down block. So uh, you should hear the noise. I don't know if you can hear it on me, but listen to this. Can you hear that? Yeah. So just think this arm is out, this one comes under it. So I'm going to trap it. I got a hold of it. I can't get the other one out. So I have to pull. All right? I come underneath. This one traps it. I got to pull the other one out. So I want to rubbing every time, rubbing like that. Go ahead. Yeah, that's good. That's it. Yeah, now it looks, looks sharp when you do that. See, one, two, as opposed to like a. This way, right? One, two, rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Nice, Kayla. That's good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Now, when you practice it, just so you don't get a bad habit, I want you to think of tightening your stomach. So remember this position here. I don't want to be like this. I want to be like this each time I'm doing it. So this is flat here. Yeah. Keep the stomach tight, right? Good. That's it. Now, the other thing, watch. That's looking quite nice. That's the hardest part right there, what you guys are doing. You're doing it quite well. The, the last thing I want you to do is make sure your elbow is pointing inwards. Don't have the elbow pointing out. Elbow has to point in, just like when you do this block, right? So my elbow, see the angle? So I'm making a V. If I do both of them at the same time, it's like a big, big V shape, right? So first the same height as my shoulder, same height. This is 90 degrees. I don't want it back over here. Out there, and elbow in, right? So just everybody, every time we do it, check. Check it. Go ahead. Good. Yeah. Robbie, it looks good. Just make a fist. Close your hands. That's it. Otherwise, it looks a little untidy when you do that, right? But otherwise, you're doing it quite nicely. Go ahead. Check the hands. That's right. So everybody, make sure you, your thumbs are in. You don't want thumbs sticking out. They get, they get caught. They get hurt. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going, Rory. That's it. So if you want to do the sundown move where you go down, see, it's the same thing, right? Instead of coming back here, I just make it go down. It's the same thing. One, two. One, two. So make sure you rub. If you wash my hands, they come in, they go out. In and out. Imagine you're doing a back fist each time. You're going to hit somebody in the nose. The back fist. Right? So go ahead. Try a few of those. Good. That's it, Diana, go ahead. Nice, yeah. So so you're doing peanut sun and you go one, one, two, right? So then you then you're gonna turn and you're gonna go one, one, two. It's the same uh, same thing, making it look nice and crisp and sharp. Alright, good. So make sure you have enough room in front of you. Move back a little bit. Okay, fighting stance. So I want you to think about keeping a nice, good, solid stance. Okay, from from here you step over and you're gonna block. Go ahead, everybody do that. Right, step over, block. Now punch him back. One, two. Now step. See, leave this hand up. Step over, come underneath the block. Punch him back. Now you're gonna do it again. Step over, block, punch back. And one more time. Step over, block, punch. Now going backwards, step back, come under, rub the arm, punch. Good, and again, hey, block, punch. Hey, block, punch. Make sure you have a good solid stance, right? Okay, good. Now we're going to do this block. So it ends in the same position, see? This one blocks this way, the other one blocks this way, but they end up in the same place, same angle, right? So the hand comes up and come around. This could also be hitting somebody, like anybody who knows uh, GR. You come around one, two. That could be a block, but I could be hitting the person in the face. Like, just like doing a karate chop, right? Okay, so everybody get fighting stance? So the hand's going to come up here. So watch when I do it. I don't have to do this anymore. I just go like this. Okay, so as I step, as I step, my hand comes up and block, right? So let's try that. Ready? So don't pull this other hand back until you're ready to block. Don't go like this. All right? This hand stays out. Okay, ready? And go. Hey, and block. One. Good. Now leave this hand there. Hey, and boom. So every time I step, I stretch the arm forward. I can step over. Hey, stretch and block. 
Now coming backwards, stretch and block. So this one stretches. Hey, push it forward and block. Hey, stretch it and block. Good. So those those people who've been doing um, Basai Dai, now when you get to this part here and you come up and then you step in, block, block, and here. I always tell you to push the other hand forward, right? Is that Christina over there? Yeah, let me unmute her. Unmute her, yeah. Uh, you're unmuted. I'll join next week. Oh, uh, how you doing, all right? Good, how you doing? I just realized that it was Thursday. But oh, okay. I know it's a little late. So I'll join up Saturday on next week. Thank you. Okay, I also have Saturday morning if you're not doing anything Saturday morning. Yeah. I'll That's be there. Noon. Okay, cool. We'll see you. Thanks. All right, guys. So, from here, ready? So, this, uh, I was talking about the uh, bus eye dye. When you get to here, remember, I always tell you to stretch this arm forward, right? This hand goes forward before you do it. It's the same thing we're doing now. Okay, so fighting stance. So, I want you to step over, keep this hand out, and go, hey, and walk. One. Good. Now, from here, punch. One, two. Good, now this hand's gonna do the block. Step over, stretch, and one. Hey, one, two. Good, step over, hey, block, one. And one, two. Good, stepping backwards, hey, block. And punch. Good, step back, hey, block. And punch. And again, hey, block. And punch. All right, good job. Okay, so. You know, all the basic blocking is the, is the same thing. You gotta make sure you have a good stance and you're gonna use the other hand. If I do a stow block, I still use the other hand, right? I don't go like this. The other hand has to work as well. So every, everything you do, upper block, my other hand has to work. See, this one has to work as well. I can't just go like this, right? Okay, so, um, stand in your position. Put your hands like this. See my hands flat like this. So you're gonna bring your knee up and hit and hit. Ready? Go. Eight, one, two. Eight, one, two. Eight, one, two. Now make sure when you come up, don't bring your foot like this. Your foot should be behind this way. Coming up like this. So you make a point out of your knee, like a like an arrow point, right? Okay, ready? And go. Eight, one, two. Eight, one, two. Okay, get fighting stance. Now reach up, grab the person's shoulders, and bang, pull. Go ahead. Yeah. So see, your hands are going to come down as your knee comes up, right? This way. Go ahead. Try a couple of those. That's it. That's it. So you got to reach a little higher and pull hard. Boom. That's it. You want to bring the person's head down as your knee's coming up. Really hard. That's nice. Yeah. So that's been on the. Uh, Feet on yonder, right from here, you reach up, bang. So same on the other side now. Put your feet and do the other leg. Practice that a few times, go ahead. Yeah, good, keep going. Reach up nice and high, good. Smash the guy. All right, good, okay. So now you're gonna go like this, watch. One switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. All right, go for about 10 of those, go ahead. Knee up each time, switch. So watch my hands, guys. I'm here. Now watch when I switch feet. Don't switch feet and then lift your hands. That happens at the same time. I'm here, I switch. See my hands go up. So they're always ready. That's it. Go ahead. One, two. How fast can you go? Just bounce. That's good. All right, looking good. Okay, so now you're gonna do that with front kick, so watch. I'm gonna do it from the side. So this is good footwork for you for fighting. Go ahead. Do ten of those. And switch. That's it. So it goes in front every time, right? The other one goes back. Yeah. Got it? Try not to move your hands too much. Good. All right, that's good. Cool. Okay, so fighting stance, ready? So you want to bring your knee up. Hold it there, right? And punch. 
Again, punch. Back in. So what you could do, somebody could be kicking, bring your knee up. That protects you from the kick, right? And then you can punch them. Or you can do a kick and keep your knee there. Punch. Right? So, so let's do it together. Ready? Fighting stance. Let's do a kick. Go, hey, kick. And then punch. Go on one leg, right? Again, ready? Go, hey, kick, punch. One, two. That's it. So you're doing like a 4B, right? One more time. Go, hey, kick, punch. Good. So if you're going to do the combination, uh, 4B, you would go one, two, and step afterwards. But it's okay for now. But what I want you to do now, you're going to kick, punch, and then side kick without putting your foot down. So make sure you don't kick something. All right, you ready? And go, hey, kick, punch, and kick, side kick. Good. Good exercise for the muscles all around here. Again, ready? Go, hey, kick, punch, and kick. Good. And again, ready? Go, hey, kick, punch, and side kick. All right, now you're gonna add back here. So watch, I do kick, punch, side kick, and back kick without putting my foot down. Ready, hey, go, one, two. Side kick and back kick, that's it. It's gonna really improve your balance. Again, ready? So try not to move your hands too much. Go, hey, kick, punch, side kick, yeah. But after you punch, don't leave your hand out. Then after you, after you punch, bring it back. Then side kick and back kick, right? So go ahead, do five more. Good. Keep going. Okay, guys, so good. So watch, it's looking quite good. So watch my back. So I'll do the kick and the punch. Don't go like this. See? And my back kick this way. I always have to arch my back when I do the kicks. So keep your back arched like this. You'll have better balance and you won't fall over, right? If I kick somebody side kick this way, it's just gonna knock me over. So try it again. Make sure that your your side kick, your back is arched, not hanging down. And the back kick the same way. Back is arched, not hanging down. All right, try five more, go ahead. Kick punch. That's an awkward back. That's it. That was a good one, Jake. That's it, Ori. Good. Nice, Yana. Good one. Go ahead, Robbie. One, two. Yeah, good. That's nice. Good. Kayla. Good. That's it. Yeah. So you have much more balance. Go ahead, Ori. One, two. That's good. All right. You guys are getting good with that. Good job. Okay. So. Uh, what I want you to do is you're going to drop down into a push-up, jump up, and then the knee strike. You're going to go down, come up again, and do a knee strike on the other side. So you're going to keep alternating knees, right? So I want you to do, uh, you're going to do six. There's three on each side. Okay, ready? Go. Down and up. All right, good. Looking good. That's it. Make sure that, that knee comes up, boom. So you alternate, right? Change knees each time. That's right. Keep going. Oh, there we go. That's it. Good, Kayla. Keep going. Good job. I'm with Kayla. Finish the knee. <laughs> She's fast. All right, good. So, <clears throat> okay. So I want everybody to get down uh, on one knee like this. So it's like fighting stance, but you're here. Can everybody still see me? Yep. So don't have your foot flat. Have it on the ball of your foot like this. So you're going to come up, kick, and back down again. All right. So five. Ready? Go. Hey, one. Good. And back down again. Two. Keep going. Count to five. All the way down. Touch the floor with your knee. Okay. Now do the other side. Switch your feet and five on the other side. Go. It's going to make your front kicks really strong. Keep going. Keep going. That's good. All right. Good job. So, last of all, you want to go over the elbow strikes. So, um, you see them in some cutters. Mostly, you see the elbow striking this way, right? Like in Pinan Yandan, you'll see this move here, this way. 
If you don't go down, you'll see after they go one, two, three, four, to here, right? That's the elbow strike there. In on Sanda, we have an elbow strike. Everybody remember where it is? Where's the elbow strike at Pinan Sanda? Ah, uh, how about this move? I have a hand, what is, I'm hitting with the belly here. One, two, the elbow strike, right? So, start off with, put, just put one hand out and you're gonna bring the other elbow around and you're gonna stretch your elbow forward. So hitting with this part right here. Go ahead, just do a few of those. All right, now watch my back. I'm not gonna be like this. I'm going to stretch, just like when I punch. When I punch, I get that stretch. The elbow is the same thing. This way. Stretch it, yeah. Okay, do the other side now. Stretch. Come around. Yeah, good. All right. So now, how about going straight down with your elbows? Like, I just need the guy. He bends over, and I come straight down with my elbow in his back like this. So bring your hand up, and bend your knees, and drop it to a horse stance. Straight down. Do it again. So use your weight to pull. <clears throat> pull it down. Try the other one now. Pull it down. And pull. That's good. All right, good. So what's another way you can strike? Well, if somebody was next to me, I could hit him this way. All right, so I'm hitting like that, like this way. So I could hit him in the roots. Like in the Seipai. Anybody know Seipai? You catch the guy's leg, I come in this way, and I elbow him in the belly before I do the foot sweep. Okay? Um, so just practice that a few times. See if my arm goes opposite direction so I can pull it. I don't want to do this. Go oh, this way, this way. Each time, pull, pull, pull. That's it. Okay, how about if the guy is tall and, and his head is over here, he comes around behind me, trying to grab me. I have a hard time getting him here. So I go this way. So my elbow is coming up this way. So look as you do it, look. Turn your head. Don't go like this because you might hurt your neck and it won't be as strong, right? Yeah. This is self-defense. Somebody comes from behind, bang, you hit him this way. So see if you can do two like this. Go. One, two. That's it. One, two. Okay. Now watch. You try one, two, three, four. So you go one, two, three, four. Go ahead. That's it. So you go this way, and this way it doesn't work. So you go this way, but maybe he moves his head to the other side. You gotta catch him on this side. Yeah. Fast, go ahead. Do one more time. Fast as you can. One, two, three, four. So, um, Ravi, sometimes go low. One, two, this way, right? Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four. That's all right. Good. Okay. So let's do a little kata. This is a good way to practice these moves. So. It's called MP kata, but it's not the MP kata that I've taught some of you. It's called MP because another word, the Japanese word for elbow is MP. And we call it MP kata. So watch. I'm going to start from here. I'm going to start with my right leg. So I step in. One. I step back. Two. Then I step into horse stance. Three. Okay. Then the, the guy in front of me, I go four. Then I'm going to do the other side. One. And two. Three. And four. Okay, so let's try that. Ready? So uh, I'll do it facing this way to start with. So right leg goes first. So go one into a nice strong step over punch position. Step back, same stance, right? Two. Now I go to the side into horse stance. Three. The hand comes up and four. Now step in with the left one. One. Step back. Two. Step into horse stance. Three. And come up. Four, all right? That's pretty simple, right? There's four moves on each side. So, um, this is my right hand. Which is your right hand? You guys put up your right hand. The opposite, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do opposite to you so we look like we're in the mirror. Okay, so you ready? We go one, two, step back. I'm still in Zenko Sudachi, right? It's like a fighting stance. And then three, horse stance. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And that's it. You guys remember it? Do it a couple times by yourself.
It's just four moves on each side. Go ahead. Good. Okay. So this will help you, you know, make your make your strikes look a little nicer in the cutlass. So you see this one sometimes in some cutlass. You see this one. But the one I didn't show you yet is the upper one. They're coming under the person's jaw. You see that in some cutters. That's in Kurunfa. It's also in uh, Sayanchi, right? You get in Sayanchi, those you know, you get to here. There, that's that one right there, right? Yeah. All right, guys, so very good. So keep practicing. We're going to class uh, Saturday at 10, 11, 12 o'clock. Try to be there sharp, right? If you get there a little late, then uh, you're going to miss some of the stuff. So try to be there at 12 o'clock. Uh, practice the stuff, all the little things we did today, if you just take a couple of minutes now and again and practice something, it doesn't have to be like, oh, I have to do it you know, an hour now. You just do a couple minutes. The more often you do it, the more it's going to stick and it's going to become uh, second nature to you guys. All right, so great. Good job on making it to the class. Nice to see you guys. Hope everybody stays safe and well. We peace together. And we bow. Hey. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Sensei Gavin. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei Gavin. I'll see you Saturday. All right, Saturday, right? Okay, see you, Christina. Yes. Right, Thank bye. you. Thanks. Thanks.